Okay, in this video, we are going to look into LoRa radio communication and target addressing. Now, the LoRa radio modules that I'm going to be using are made by eByte. It's their E32 series. You can see I got them mounted on my breadboards. And the part number is 915T30D. Now, the 915 indicates they run on 900 megahertz. That's the 900 megahertz ISM band from 902 to 928 megahertz. And the 30 in the part number indicates 30 dBm, that's their RF output, so they're 1 watt modules. Now up to now I've been using point-to-point -point communication between the two LoRa modules in transparent mode, but in this video we're going to look into fixed mode and point-to-multipoint. Now there's two parameters that define the ID of the E32 LoRa radio modules. That's the carrier frequency that they run on, that's their channel, their RF channel, and a, a unique ID that's programmed into each module. Now we could program the unique ID and the carrier frequency to each module using free software that can be downloaded from eByte. Okay, we will be operating our LoRa radio modules in the license-free ISM band from 902 MHz to 928 MHz. Now the E32 LoRa modules are capable of transmitting from 900 MHz to 931 MHz, so they could transmit below and above the ISM band. So if we program channel 0, into the LoRa module, it will transmit on 900 megahertz. If we program the channel number 31 into the LoRa module, it will transmit on 931 megahertz. Now to stay within the ISM band, we have to restrict the channel numbers from 2 to 28. So if we program channel 2 into the LoRa module, it will transmit on 902 megahertz. And if we program 28 into the LoRa module, it will transmit on 928 megahertz. And this is in 1 megahertz steps from 2 to 28. Okay, the radio ID number range that we could program into the lower radio modules are from 0 to FFFF hex. So we have a total of 65,536 different IDs that we could program into the lower radio modules. So they start at 0 and it ends at FFFF hex. Now 0 and FFFF are reserved for broadcast communication. So when they do a broadcast, we set the address either to 0 or FFFF. And when we broadcast that, all the radios in the same frequency, the RF channel, will respond and will disregard the ID. So we're left with 0001 and FFFE for our target addressing. Okay, I have my eByte configuration software up and running on my computer. And it's connected to my LoRa radio module. And you can see my UART data rate is 9600 bits per second. Over the air rate is 2400. My power output is 30 dBm, that's 1 watt and my I.O. is open drain and you can see fixed mode I got disabled so this is my transparent mode where I've been using my point to point and my address of my module is set for 1 and my channel is 15 so it's transmitting on 915 megahertz so if I send ASCII character codes into the LoRa module it will transmit automatically until the buffer is empty when we're in this mode now if I go to fixed mode if I enable fixed mode and then set parameters now we're in fixed mode with an address of 1 and the channel of 15. So now if I send ASCII character codes into my LoRa module, it will not transmit. I have to specify the address and the channel, the RF channel of the, of the target, of the target LoRa module that I, wa I want to uh, send the data to. So we'll look into how we could do that, how we could actually target a specific LoRa module using the address and the channel number. Okay, here's a network of LoRa radios configured in fixed mode. So we have a group of three configured for channel 15, so they're operating on 915 megahertz with an ID of 100, 200, and 300. We have another group of three configured for channel 20 with IDs of 400, 500, and 600. Now we have a master radio with an ID of 700, and it's on channel 2, so it's operating on 902 megahertz. Now if we want to send some data from this radio, from the master, to this radio here, we want to target this radio, a point-to-point, -point and we want to send the data hello world. So here's our hello world data. And the three bytes, the, th the three first bytes before the data, it's our header. And so the first two bytes will be the address. And the third byte will be the channel. So when it sends this string, this radio will change channels to 915 megahertz. And it will change its ID to 100. And it will send the, the text hello world from this radio up to this radio. So it's it's a point to point and it's tar it's a target. Also if it wants to send the same hello world from this radio to this radio here, then it, the first three bytes will be 400 for the ID 
and 20 for the channel and then the data hello world and now we'll target this radio point to point. Now if it wants to do a broadcast if it wants to send hello world from this radio to these three that are on 950 megahertz then it does the wildcard, it does the broadcast address of FFFF with the frequency 915 and then the data so it's going to go from point to multipoint. It's going to send hello world from the master to the to these three um, that are on 915 megahertz. Now if it wants to send the same thing to these three groups 920 megahertz so we're going to have a wildcard address of zero and all we could have is either zero or FFFF with the, with the channel number 20 hello world so it's going to be a point to multipoint it's going to send hello world from this master to the three radios so by setting up the three bytes the three header bytes before the data we could target any radio out in the field either point to point or point to multipoint okay here's a bit of demo code that I'm going to run on my nano to control my master LoRa radio so the first thing I did I declared a string variable called string hello and in that variable I have hello world as my text. So my main program is called fixed and the first thing it does is just delays for one second before it transmits. And you can see here the three bytes, the three header bytes. So that's your that's your address which will be one and then there's your channel number which is 14 which will be 940 megahertz. That indicates that that was an address and channel. And then it's going to send the string, hello world, to the radio. Then it's going to wait two seconds. And it's going to do it again, but this time it's going to be with ID 2. And it's going to transmit on 915. Then it's going to do 916. And it's going to do that all over again with the broadcast, FF. And it's going to do 15 and 16. So we'll be able to see the LoRa radio change channels from 914 and 915, 916 with a two second delay in between. So we can actually watch this code in operation. We can actually see that the radio change channels. I'll have a software defined radio hooked up and we'll actually see the radio change channels from 914 to 915, 916. And we'll do it over again. Just to demonstrate how this works, how we could actually do a point to point and a point to multipoint. Okay, I have SDR Sharp up and running on my computer. It's my software defined radio. And I have the center frequency at 950 megahertz. My span is almost 2 megahertz, so we'll barely see the left and right indication, but you'll be able to see it. So we'll see it transmit on 914, and 950, and 916. So I'll start my program and we'll monitor it on my SDR Sharp software. So I'll start it. This is the left one. Now there's a middle, and I'll do it again, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, so that was my little demo on how you could use fixed mode on these LoRa radio modules. So now you could do point to point and point to multipoint. So check the data sheets, you get some more information, and you can build your own LoRa network.